Well, the idea of removing carbon from our air by sucking emissions from the atmosphere and storing them underground has been pushed aside for years. But some scientists and government officials say the moment to break out the giant vacuums has arrived. Mm -hmm. KCAL 9's Amy Johnson is here to explain this potential method to combat climate change. Hi, Amy. Hi, Sarah and Serene. It may sound like something out of a science fiction movie, but it is real. In fact, there is a small site in Menlo Park in the Bay Area. It's not large enough to remove enough carbon, but it's certainly a start. Using a huge vacuum to pull carbon dioxide or CO2 from the air seems like a futuristic goal, but the future is here. Well, it actually exists. There, uh, there's a company in Switzerland called Climeworks, and there's one in British Columbia. Um, there's something like 14 sites uh, around the world. They, they look like uh, large sets of, of jet airplane engines that suck air and carbon, and they grab the carbon out of the air. Ken Alex is the director of Project Climate at the Center for Law, Energy and Environment at UC Berkeley. He joined us by Zoom and I asked him if this can really work. Right now, the largest one of these takes out about 4,000 tons a year. And California's emissions, just to give you some perspective, California is about 1% of world emissions and California has about 425 million tons a year. So the, the scale of this has to be significantly larger than it is now to make a big difference. Cost is a big factor, but many hope the price will come down just like it did for solar panels and electric cars because the need is so great. I'm very optimistic that this is going to happen. Rajinder Sahoda is the deputy executive officer for climate change and research at the California Air Resources Board. She's not only optimistic that it's going to happen, she expects the investment to happen this decade. So we as a state are actually uh, geologically set up very well for not just pulling carbon out of the atmosphere, but then also storing it permanently underground. Now, the carbon can be used to make a number of items, including plastic and fuel. Elon Musk is even holding a contest to get more ideas about carbon removal. The top prize, $100 million. Wow, a lot of money for a good idea. <laughs> yes, certainly that is going to provide some motivation, I can only imagine. Thank you so much, Amy, Thanks, for that. Amy.